I, I will say that probably I, I got something from Scotty, and I tried to give it back. I, th I think that's if you if you if you get something from Scotty, you should give it back. If I if I was uh, nine when I was in Scotty, I was born in fourteen, so twenty twenty three, nineteen twenty three, and he. In the scouts, another three years later on, 26. How did you become involved in the scouting movement? Well, I guess uh, the Cubs just we sort of naturally fell into it. It was right the uh, where they met just a, just up the street, which was over a buyer's drugstore, which was uh, we both left, met upstairs there, and the Cubs moved to. Uh, United Church. When we, when they built the Scout Hut, I can remember uh, they had the they were doing the, the the floor, and a lot of us were able to go up and allow the hot hammer nails. And I remember hammering nails into that floor. Had one very good use one time. We, the depression. The I don't know whether you remember or not or read about it, but the march from the west, where the men marched and marched and marched. Well, they did. Some of them did come through Oakland. It's a bit of a sad sight, I can tell you. The people were very good to them. They fed them. And we, we said, where are they going to sleep? So Sid Blake, like myself, I said, why don't we let them use the scout hut? But we had to get permission from them. So we got permission, as long as we slept in the, in the office. And I guess we had about 60 men in that little place there. And I tell you, if you have ever smelled socks <laughs> that have been marched and marched and marched, when we came out in the morning, <laughs> it was a, a sad smell. No, they, those old people, I don't, I don't know how they, how they did it to come, come through in the depression. But I guess like everything else, they, they got through it. From, from the time we, the scouts started until we came along, there were no King Scouts. King Scouts were the highest you could go. And there was one other chap and myself. We worked hard. We measured the whole uh, lakefront with, with, with cord and, or, or rulers or you know, tapes from the ninth line to the eighth line. That's what we turned in for our report. That was the last report we needed. And unfortunately, never, it was never told whether we got it or not. So we never did get to become the king. King Scout. I just need the one, one, uh, one badge for the King Scout. And actually, I, I used to t teach some of the badges too, because we had my brother had an electrical store, and I used to work on that. Anything electrical with it and that had to do with badges, I taught that. And from being back in in the church, we did basket work and everything. There was weaving. You could there was a badge for weaving. And uh, I don't know. I had. I probably had 10 or 12 badges on my shoulder. But, uh, but they, they don't, they, they didn't go at it like the Americans do. That was a, one thing, you know, that the Toronto ex Exhibition, in my time, when you went into the, the gate on the right, just around from that was a big park area, and they had that for scouts every year. They had a camp that you could down spend a week. I spent one week in the exhibition with all the scouts from all over the country. Americans, all kinds of Americans came up there. It was rather interesting because you got to know more about what happened with other scout troops. Can you tell me when you remember Baden Powell coming to visit? I, 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 I didn't, my, see my uh, sec, second brother was 10 years older, so he, when Baden Powell came to Oakville, which I don't know the date, but they had a, a jamboree and I remember I'm telling it that uh, my brother did the pole vault and he broke his, broke his wrist and he had one, el one wrist bone that always stuck out. What kind of uniform did you wear? What, what, what was the regular uniform? Well, you wore the regular scout uniform, uh, the shorts and the, your khaki shirt, your scarf, and this regular scout hat. Getting a uniform was in bits and pieces. You, uh, I can remember there's only one, one scout that I can remember. And he was about this tall, I think, he was pretty, not fat, but tall, solid. And, uh, he was the one you could look in the scout 
magazine, you know, for the, for the, the where you get all anything you could buy. The and he had one of everything. <laughs> A little purge, a little of this, a little of this. We always carried a knife, though. We did always carry a knife. You know. One thing you always had is a sharp knife. We did a fair amount of camping, and uh, when I camped, see, with the rover crew, we we went on camp trips. The tent generally was just a regular, just with a wall of boats so high. But most of them were the just the wall tent. Nothing fancy that you can snap the button at the top of <laughs> There's your tent. <laughs> I can remember being in Cubs. We were up somewhere. It must have been up past the uh, golf course because I know it was a little gap where I got off sick, homesick. And I put, picked up my little pack and I walked down through for the, for the lanes and everything. Past that and then getting to walking down Kerr Street. I thought I'd never get home, I remember that. <laughs> Cubs I wasn't, I was still probably somewhere over nine, between nine and ten. <laughs> I remember I had one of, the, one of the fellows, he always thought that fog collectors would be good to eat, so he, he, he would go and kill frogs and skin them and have fog collectors. And actually they're, they're quite, a, they're, good, they're, they're sold, you know, that's a, quite a dish in French fog collectors. Well, he used to make bannock, you know, where you take and make a dough when you twist it around a st stick and you just put, hold it over the fire and tur turn it and the cup, you could put, put a couple of bees up and turn the end of the thing. You could see it till it get browned. It was pretty good. We might have we taken a couple of potatoes from home on you know, these short trips and things like that. Rob, Rob Mother's cupboard. <laughs> the only thing you'd ever have in those days probably would be apples. I don't remember much fruit around except the time that we see Ziki Duncan and the watermelon. I always remember a story about Al Duncan where Tate coming in to go down to camp and he got he was put in charge of the watermelon as a color boy and uh, he got halfway down the hill and it slipped. <laughs> they broke in a hundred pieces. All you could see, almost see tears in his eyes. I'll tell you, a lot of the things I learned as scouts in the army were very valuable if you had to take care of yourself. Scouting, I, I think, uh, it learned you a little tolerance. I think that's one of the things you learned in scouts. And uh, I think most, most of the scouting were very kind of other people. August 1st, 1907, the hero of Mafking, Major General Baden-Powell, starts an experimental camp for boys on Brown Sea Island in the English Channel. Our training aims generally to develop health and character, coupled with a generous spirit of happiness through service. De retour du premier jamboree scout mondial célébré à Londres en Angleterre, Baden Powell a été proclamé chef scout mondial. Baden Powell has just been proclaimed chief scout of the world. 1929, the coming of age third world jamboree at Arrow Park, Birkenhead, England. Don't forget, a very important part of your duty is quite a small thing, and that is to do a good turn to somebody every day. The 5th World Jamboree, 
Pearl Jamboree is set for 1937 in Holland. Le 8 janvier 1941, le chef scout mondial, Lord Maid of Powell de Gilwell, est mort ce jour à Nyeri, au Kenya, dans sa maison de retraite. Dateline January 8, 1941. Chief Scout of the World, Lord Baden Powell of Gilwell, died today at his retirement home in Nyeri, Kenya. Lady Olave Baden Powell, Chief Guide of the World, was at his bedside. Our chief and founder has gone home. Jamboree Scout Mondial dédié à la paix sera tenu à Moisson en France en 1947. That enthusiastic yell will be shouted by 10,000 Boy Scouts from at least 50 countries when they gather in southeastern Canada for the 8th World Jamboree. The 8th Jamboree Scout Mondial sera tenu en 1955 à Niagara sur le lac en Ontario, Canada. C'est le premier jamboree célébré en dehors de l'Europe. will be celebrated with the ninth World Jamboree in England. Be prepared. That is, to train yourselves to be strong, active, and clever. Because then, If at any time you are called upon, you know you will be able to lend a hand and do man's work for other people and for your country. <laughs> 